Oh, hi. I'm Mix Berry. Welcome to Stonyfield Farm. I'll be your guide today. Come on in. I've got my handy copy of the Stonyfield story right here. And you can follow along. Now this is the story of Stonyfield Farm Yogurt. A story filled with science, a touch of magic, a whole lot of caring, and Gary and Samuel, two crazy, idealistic environmentalists. What I mean to say, two smart businessmen. That's Gary on the left and Samuel on the right. Come on, come on. Well, I'm Samuel Kamen. I come from Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, we don't grow no food. In Brooklyn, everybody thinks food is assembled in the back of the grocery store, okay? And I wanted to have a different environment for my life and my children's life. So we moved to New Hampshire. And in New Hampshire, I got involved in agriculture. And for over half my life, I've been involved in agriculture in one form or another. I was involved in creating this school called the Rural Education Center, which was to teach people how to take care of the land. It was through this uh, intense activity where I went to the production of yogurt because it was, a, it was a natural link, a tie, to reach the people of New Hampshire, to kind of bring the message to them to, for the need to create a, a sustainable agriculture. I'm Gary Hirschberg, president of Stonyfield Yogurt. Before I joined Samuel in 1983, I was executive director of a nonprofit environmental organization on Cape Cod called the New Alchemy Institute. And at New Alchemy, we developed environmental technologies like windmills and solar greenhouses and aquaculture, uh, organic gardening. These were technologies that people could use to take good care of themselves and take good care of the planet, too. In 1983, Samuel and Gary formed the Stonyfield Farm Yogurt Works in Wilton, New Hampshire. Samuel had worked out the basic recipe, relying mostly on memories of the delicious yogurt his grandmother had made back in Brooklyn. I can tell you, that tiny company of theirs went through some hard times in the beginning. But word spread quickly of their delicious yogurt, and by 1989, they needed the much larger space of the present yogurt works in Londonderry. It really moves me to think how this company, which started with the milk from a herd of just 11 cows, now uses thousands of gallons of milk each day. That's enough milk to make a whole lot of mixed berry yogurt. For us, it all starts with the cows and the wonderful milk they give us. And with our huge demand today, we buy all our milk from family farms like this one. 50 years ago in New England, there were over 31,000 family farms like the Chatterbrook Farm here in Deerfield, New Hampshire. Now there's less than 4,000. And this trend of decline is taking place all across the U.S. That's why we not only buy our milk from family farms like this one, but we try to support family farmers in everything that we do. We started making yogurt with milk from cows like this one. This is a Jersey cow. She gives very rich milk. We leave the cream in, so when you lift the lid, you get a nice layer of thick yogurt cream on top. It's real good. Lots of people begged us to make a non-fat yogurt, too. When we moved to Londonderry, that's exactly what we did. And it really took off. So we got so excited about it, we moved on to non-fat frozen yogurt and non-fat soft serve frozen yogurt too. Whether it's whole milk or non-fat, doesn't matter. The point is that all our milk comes from family farms and it's all natural and of the highest quality. Mm. Besides milk, all you need to make yogurt is bacteria, culture. I don't mean germs. I mean the organisms that live in your body and keep you healthy. We mix in two very special yogurt-making bacteria, Acidophilus and Bifidus. They keep you young and healthy. See that guy up there? We call him Acidophilus Ed. He's a great example of the benefits of yogurt. He's 109 years old. Really? No kidding. Now look real closely and don't blink. You'll see how Ed and the others make our yogurt.
You see all that from the farm and the cows and the stainless equipment and all those people? And now we enter the realm of miracle. And we call it the incubator. Here is where the milk comes in, sitting in the yogurt cup. And this is where the yogurt fairies perform their miracle. They transform the milk into yogurt. Oh yes. The scientists say it's the microorganisms that are digesting the lactose that create a gel with the milk protein to create yogurt. But we really know it's the yogurt fairies that do it. The time it takes for the yogurt to form varies from batch to batch. It all depends on what the cows had for dinner the night before or how much sleep the yogurt fairies had. The longer the milk incubates, the more tart the yogurt will be. And since we don't add any white refined sugar, we do frequent testing to catch the batch just when it's nice and thick and creamy and not hard. We're now leaving the hot incubation room and entering the frigid chambers that we call the chill cells. Samuel invented these himself. And believe me, oh, they're chilly. After the yogurt has been cooled off, all that's left to do is to load it on the trucks and ship it out. Did you know that Stonyfield yogurt is available from coast to coast now? This batch is going to Florida. Florida? Samuel and I are real excited that we've come full circle from our nonprofit days at the New Alchemy Institute and at Rural Education Center. Because now, in addition to our support for family farms, we're actually helping all kinds of environmental groups, like Cultural Survival, an organization who helps indigenous peoples protect the fragile rainforest, and Oxfam America, a group with whom we've developed an award to help people who are fighting world hunger through sustainable agriculture. And here at Stonyfield, we've got all kinds of environmental and educational programs going from our cup recycling to our Adopt-A-Cow program and our Moose letter, Moose from the Farm. Now, as you can plainly see, there's a lot more to eating a cup of our yogurt than simply giving yourself a tasty treat. That's right. So keep eating that delicious and nutritious Stonyfield yogurt and find out why we like to say we'll make you feel good inside. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So care. long. Bye. Come bye -bye. see us, okay? Bye. And don't forget about the yogurt fairies. You didn't say anything about the yogurt fairies. Just a little bit. Okay. Bye-bye. So long. Bye. Florida, yippee! Oh, I hope I have my sunscreen. I wonder, does this stop at Disneyland? Bye! Bye, everyone! Bye! Bye!